Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I have had a great day so far. It is about two in the morning here right now, so if I sound a little bit, like, tired, <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me. Um, I got tied up working on some things. So we've talked a couple times over the last uh, couple episodes about Binding of Isaac and uh, how there was a suggestion to make a second channel and some of that kind of stuff. So I was working on that a bit today. I think I've decided I am going to go ahead and start a second channel, uh, which of course means I need to make like artwork and all that kind of stuff. So I got a little sidetracked with that uh, from Hermitcraft, but we're here now and I want to work today on the port a little bit more and adding some details specifically because I think we have a pretty nice... Um, base to work with, I guess you could call it, you know, a, a nice canvas to kind of work with. It's a good start. We've got a lot of infrastructure here, but it's not immersive. It doesn't feel alive. It doesn't feel lived in because there's really no detail. You know, it's just uh, a structure and a boat, <laughs> essentially. So I want to see what we can do today to kind of make it come to life a little bit more. Also, a lot of you, that was the best landing of all time, I am the greatest lander on flags of all... Wow, that was so bad. A lot of you said <laughs> that with the way the piers are laid out, it kind of looks like a W. Um, that was totally not intentional, but, uh, yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> it just kind of worked out that way. Not, you know, honestly, I'm perfectly okay with it being a W for Wells Knight. Um, so yeah, good stuff. There was also a very common suggestion saying, hey... You know, Frostwalker boots would probably make this whole shipbuilding thing a lot easier. And I thought about it and I was like, wow, why why did I not think of that? That's a brilliant idea. That would have made <laughs> building that ship a million times easier. Why why did I not do the frostwalking thing? Like, this would have been so much easier to place the blocks. And I just spaced and didn't even think about it, you know? It would have been so much easier to do this. Although, does it melt if I'm still standing on it? Oh, it totally does. Okay. Um, but anyway, when I build the second ship, um, I will definitely use Frostwalker for the stuff that's above ground. It's, it's a great idea. I, I can't believe that it's... I guess it comes down to the fact that I, I never really use Frostwalker because for the most part, it's not really that useful of an enchantment. You know, usually if I'm going to water, I'm going because I need something from under the water. Very rarely am I actually building something on top of it. So, huh. anyway, um, a lot of you also said it would be a great idea to add an anchor. And I concur. I think that's a great plan. So, where do we want to have it dropping anchor? Maybe here. Okay, so you can still fall in the water with Frostwalker on. Good to know. But let's just kind of... Oh, that looks weird. Yeah, that's not... That's not gonna do. Um, we'll just say that that's the anchor. Due to the way that blocks work in Minecraft, I think that's gonna be the best we can do. And we'll bring it up over the side uh, as well. Uh, and then a lot of you also said, hey, the ship needs a rudder. So, that we can do. I think we'll just take uh, maybe a couple of these down here like this, and then just put uh, a couple blocks like so. Um, and maybe something like that. Just to just to show that that's the, the rudder for the ship. Um, it'll do. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, let's see, what other common comments were there? Common comments? That's very difficult to say. Um, oh, I put the, the docking ramp thing on the wrong side, apparently. Port, which, uh, first of all, I'm not a Navy man. I'm an Army man. <laughs> so, I'm not super familiar with ships and port and starboard and all those terms. They, d they don't really mean a whole lot to me. Um, I, I tried, I did some research, but... I didn't realize that port, which apparently is the left side of the ship, actually is called that because that's the side that 
the docking ramps would add at. But I was thinking about it, and I don't know, I'm sure if this is completely unrealistic, you guys will tell me, but would it be completely unrealistic for, uh, if there is space, you know, if there's enough room, would it be completely unrealistic to have docking ramps on both sides? I wouldn't think so. I think that would make sense, you know, for loading and unloading cargo more quickly. Uh, or maybe they bring cargo on from one side and they offload it on the other side, like a little thing. I don't know. But I had another uh, a second ramp over here because obviously we're not going to be able to fit another ship in this little, what is this, like a three block space. So I think it's okay. Um, and as for the ship itself, some of you really liked it. Some of you thought it was okay. And some of you thought it was pretty bad. Um, for my first attempt at building a ship in survival, I'm quite happy with it. I think if this is one of those things where I end up building many, many ships, uh, I will get better at, at them. You know, this is this is my first crack at it. So if it's not uh, up to the greatest standards, um, you'll have to forgive me. It's practice makes perfect, as the saying goes. You know, my first house in Minecraft looks nothing like the houses that I build today. So I think it's a matter of me just having to build more and more and more of them over time and and slowly getting better at them. Um, but I think for for what I was aiming to accomplish, I think this does that. Uh, and between episodes, I did swap uh, this this line of planks here. That was spruce. I swapped it out for dark oak, and I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, but anyway, let's see what we can do to maybe see about adding some life, uh, some some you know immersion to this area. And I think there's a few ways we can go about doing that. So here we have spruce. Uh, slabs. Pretty much exclusively, I think, right? Yeah. And to add some detail here, there's... Obviously, we can do, you know, crates and chests and things like that. Say maybe, you know, uh, if we're not going to be doing that, let's actually... Let's do this. Uh, so maybe we put, you know, a couple crates down, like, like so. Uh, maybe put a chest here and here. Uh, another chest sticking out over there, and then one maybe here. You know, just little little things like this to kind of just add uh, some, some stuff, right? Piles of cargo, essentially, that have been brought off of the ship. I'm going to need more... Do I still carry around a shulker box full of dark oak? It doesn't look like it. Ah, that's a mistake on my part. Do I have any hiding in these shulker boxes? No, but I do have a few chests. Ah, I'm so unprepared. Okay, so in that case, let's go get ourselves some dark oak, because I'm going to need to make more chests. Um, I, otherwise, I'm, I'm going to run out, and that's just not going to be good. So let's go. I'll just grab a, a full shulker box of dark oak, and it'll be fine. And then I might as well... Actually, I already did grab the tripwire hooks. I'm so prepared. Look at how prepared I am. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I am uh, I'm getting a little sidetracked. And if I'm a little, uh, little uh, kind of all over the place this episode, once again, you know, it's like two in the morning right now. So you'll, <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. My brain is not uh, completely functional in its normal state. Um, but anyway... Let's see. I think the other cool thing maybe we could do is we could potentially use some crafting tables, like, as crates. You know? I think that could work. Yeah. Yeah, I think we could get away with that. You know, use some, uh, some note blocks and some crafting tables to kind of represent different types of crates, and I think that'll work really well. Um... I would like to do barrels, but I can't really think of a good way to do barrels in the default texture pack. Um, in the texture pack that I use for kingdoms, my trap doors are textured much like spruce wood uh, spruce doors, right? They've got that kind of... They don't have these stupid holes in them. Um, and... You know, we could do crates, but the thing is, with these as trapdoors, it just looks bad, in my opinion. Like, I just don't like the way it looks. Uh, if these weren't, you know, holy, 
if they didn't have holes in them, <laughs> if they weren't see-through, it would be different. Then I would totally use some of those. Um, but in the default vanilla settings, nah, just not a, just uh, just not a good look. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll just kind of uh, plop down some more crates and some more chests and uh, different things. We'll also have to work some lighting in here. I someone told me that. Uh, crafting tables count as a transparent block and that you can hide lighting under them? I, I I can't imagine that being true, but let's test it out. Let's see if uh, whoever that person was knows what they're talking about or if they're uh, if, if they're lying to me. <laughs> let's yeah, that, that, that definitely definitely not a transparent block person, whoever you were. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we checked. You know, sometimes uh, it's those little tips like that that really, uh, really can make all the difference sometimes, you know? If we find some sort of a transparent block that I couldn't think of. Uh, who knows? Ooh, actually, that does give me an idea, though, because pistons are transparent. And you guys have been telling me to use pistons, like, forever as a source of light uh, or a as a way to hide lighting. And I haven't really found a good way to do it yet, uh, a good place. But with the texture that pistons have on top, this might be an opportune time to give this a try. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this work. Uh, you go there. Will that be enough? No, I'll need two two stacks of cobblestone if I'm going to make 32 pistons, and then I'll need a bunch of dark oak. Boop. There we go. Let's just try this out. Maybe maybe this will look good. Maybe it'll look uh, garbage, but we're going to give it a try and, you know, see what happens. So you and there we go. 32 pistons. Um... Yeah, maybe. I suppose that could be a barrel or a crate of some sort. You'd have, we'd have to cover up the sides. But I think we could make it work. I think. Let's uh let's give this a try. Let's just see. Because then we can use that to hide some light, right? So if we say, hey, right here. This is this is a spot where I want to hide light. We can put that down. We can put a piston on top of it like that. And then uh, we could say, okay, well, you know, this is this is a, a this is a place where we would put crates, right? So we put um, another crate here. And then this, in theory, should be a good spot to hide some lighting. You know, and we can put some chests and stuff like that up here. Uh, things, you know, just just different different piles of stuff, basically. You know, like so. But this will still spread the light, I think. Um, something along those lines could work. Maybe I I don't really like the idea of. Ooh, we do need to cover that up though. So maybe we do something like that. And then we'll say a chest here and a chest there, right? Just different, uh, different things. I think that could work. How would it look? It, how big of a deal would it be if we showed the side of the piston partially? Like if we put a chest. Ah, uh, that's not bad, actually. I think we could probably live with that. Maybe turn that one into a trap chest. Yeah. I think that would work. And then I believe the piston hides light even if it's not extended, I think. We do need to test that, though. Because if it only hides... If it's only a transparent block, 
when the piston is not extended, that's not going to do us a whole lot of good. No, definitely a transparent block, whether it's extended or not. Awesome. Okay, I think that will actually work for us then. So that's good. That's really good. I'm, I'm actually happy. Um, let's do that. There we go. And we can use that to add some different crates and, and things like that to this area. So let me go ahead and add a bunch more, you know, little crates and, and things along those lines. Let me get some work done on this area, see what I can come up with. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back and I think I've got it all done. So we've got a whole bunch of these little, uh, Piles of cargo, essentially, you know, cargo that has been either loaded on or off of the ship, one or the other. We may make a warehouse over here at some point, just more for aesthetics than for practicality. I don't know. I'm not sure where we, where we would put it, to be honest, uh, but we might be able to figure something out. Uh, that'll be for something down the road, though, because uh, I want to have the wall. I want to build up the wall here and I want to figure out this because this side like this wall is up here. Um, but when, when the whole thing is finished, we're probably going to have land, uh, brought up to this level or something. I don't know that this side of the wall is going to stay the way it is now. We'll have to, I'm still kind of trying to sort those ideas out inside my brain, if that, if that makes any sense. Um, but I think all in all, just adding that stuff really really makes a difference as far as adding immersion to this area and making it feel more alive. It would be cool if we could do some texture variation as well, but the thing is, we've got spruce here and spruce over here, and because it's here, whatever we end up using needs to come in half slabs. It needs to come in slabs. And I tried out the different, uh, variations as far as planks go, like, uh, you know, spruce and jungle, spruce and oak, spruce and dark oak, etc, etc. And I didn't really like any of them in this setting. Um, so maybe we'll just leave it the way it is. Ideally, I'd love to mix, like, some coarse dirt in here and, and some of that kind of stuff, but I don't know. Uh, obviously, I mean, we can't use coarse dirt over here because this is down half a, uh, half a block. Now, on the flip side, I suppose I could raise this up. Like, it wouldn't be the end of the world if this were to come up to this height, although then the ceiling would be a little bit low at some points, and then that would also allow us to do some texture variation, but I kind of like having it down. I don't know. I'll have to think on that. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Maybe, uh, maybe we can come to a consensus as a community. Bring it up. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying so hard not to yawn on camera because yawns are contagious. But as I said, it's very late here. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe we can come to a consensus as a community. Bring this up half a block and add in the texture variation using, you know, coarse dirt and and all sorts of fun stuff like that or leave this down a half a block and have this nice little change in depth right along there i don't know um i think either way though i'm gonna be done working on the port for today i think it's time to do a little bit of something else now i've been trying to get in touch with biffa you know my fellow oho member and uh, unfortunately he doesn't seem to like me. He he hasn't been answering my messages. You know, I've sent uh, I've sent him many messages. I sent him a telegram. I called him. I get I, I sent him a carrier pigeon. Nothing, nothing at all. Okay, I haven't really done that much. I've sent him like two messages on Discord, but still. <laughs> uh, but no, what it really what it is is just time zones. Um, but I've been trying to link up with Biffa so we could do uh, do some very important things. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do that tomorrow. He did finally reply, but he was about to head to bed when he did. Uh, so maybe we'll be doing some, maybe we'll get up to some, some stuff tomorrow. Um, however, I, I want to be prepared for our meeting with Biffa. And a little bird told me, or rather a lot of birds, or rather the comment section told me 
and I already knew because I'd watched the video, uh, that B double O came over and did some recon on our castle. I think it's only fair that we go and gather a little bit of intelligence, uh, a little bit of intelligence on our own, uh, of our own. Wow, I can't words today. Note to self, stop recording videos at like three in the morning. Your brain and mouth don't like connect properly and the things that come out of your mouth just end up being babble. Um, anyway, I think it's time that we gather a little bit of intelligence of our own because I hate to say it, if Biffa and I are going to go deal with stuff tomorrow and get up to some uh, some fun, hopefully, uh, you know, and, and when I say fun, I mean, you know, wage holy war in the name of the people. Um, I think it's best to be prepared for that. How are the donations going? Very well. Very well indeed. Good job, Hermitcraft. I think most of this was Tango and Impulse, although I did donate a ton of glass, so a good chunk of that glass is mine. Uh, but anyway, I, you know, I have to say, I, I really think it needs to be said, Impulse, seriously, like one of the most generous hermits on the server, the dude is so nice, <laughs> he just gives stuff away all the time, gives all the hermits prismarine, donates, you know, basically builds a squid farm for Iskal's uh, nether project. I mean, the guy's just so generous. Like, go over and, and say hello to Impulse and and send him some love and a thank you from me if you haven't already checked out Impulse. I highly encourage you to do so. He's just like the nicest guy in the world. But anyway, I'm going to head off to the NHO jungle so we can do a little bit of recon here, guys. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. I have returned and we are at the NHO jungle. Complete with a beautiful big gate, I must say. Very, uh, very... What's the word I'm looking for? Breathtaking? Yeah, we'll go with breathtaking. That's a good word. I think Beef built that. It's beautiful. I love it. Actually, I hate it. It's it's scary and intimidating, and it's not the kind of message that you want to send if you're trying to be warm and inviting to everyone else on the server. Shame. Shame on you, Beef. Shame. How dare you build such a big, beautiful, I mean, terrifying gate to scare all the people away. <laughs> anyway, I want to recon this area a little bit because it's been a while since I've been over here. It's be It's been probably a week or two since I've kind of come over here and poked around. And, you know, when it comes to war... Up-to-date and accurate intel is extremely important, so I think we should do a little bit of looking around, see what we can come across. Also, Doc, I know, is scary and has been building evil traps and stuff, and I don't know about all of them, so I'm going to put on my chest plate in case... Uh, do I have arrows? I do. In case horrible things happen, I want to be able to... Hopefully stand at least a chance of surviving. I don't think there's anything down there. Let's go take a peek. I, I mean, I think if I, re if I recall, just about everything is focused along this river. Oh, I'm still wearing my Frostwalker boots. Did I put my non-Frostwalker boots? Oh, I did. Oh, my Feather Falling... And Depth Strider boots are back home. Well, that's good to know. That means I can't take a... I can't make a hard landing. Um, otherwise, I'll probably die from fall damage. Well, that was stupid of me. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, bed? Bed. Let's sleep real quick. Did I put them away or did I put them in a shulker box? I may have put them in a different shulker box. Hmm... I'm not entirely sure. I should probably check these because I really would prefer to have my good <laughs> boots if I'm going to be exploring uh, hostile territory behind enemy lines. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so I definitely swapped them out and put them in the wrong one. Okay, no big deal. It's all, it's, it's okay. Uh, we'll just be very careful. And, you know, the Frostwalker boots will allow us to... Okay, that one is, it's melting. So allow us to traverse the jungle here. Quite, ooh, cute 
little waterfall. I like. I, I, I it's Oh, a couple waterfalls. What is this? This is B Dub's little fishing house, I I believe. Yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about with trapdoors. For those of us who have our own texture packs, like B Dub's and myself, that change this trapdoor to spruce, this looks glorious. I bet this looks great. Here, I will demonstrate. Uh you. See? Cut. See? That looks beautiful. It looks great. Then you go back to the default textures. And I do have a texture pack, but the only thing that it changes is glass. <laughs> That's the only texture change. This, not so good. You know, that's that's why I'm, I, I'm very hesitant to use drastic texture changes. Uh, but anyway, what is this? What? This looks... Is that blood? Or redstone? Is this a redstone contraption? Has Doc been doing... I'm afraid to press this button. Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, let's see, armor stands. This this doesn't look like a Doc thing. This looks like a B-dubs thing. Is this an arena? This kind of looks like an arena. It's either an arena or a demonic circle for summoning demons. One or the other. Either way, both are extremely dangerous to the health of the server. I don't know... I don't know if this is something that can be left. This is... This is dangerous. I don't know if you guys know about the track record that certain NHO members have with arenas, uh, but pretty much whenever you build an arena on the server, well, I shouldn't say when you, I should say when certain specific individuals build an arena on the server, the server shuts down, and I hate to say it, but Season 5, like, just started. We can't go restart and say, I mean... We can't start season six next week. We're not ready. We're not ready for that. You know, or or they leave. One of that. It's one or the other. You know, they they either build an arena and then the server shuts down, or they build an arena and then they stop playing. Either way, both of them are extremely detrimental to the health of Hermitcraft as a whole. This is extremely dangerous. Like this should have warning signs. I don't know if the OHO can allow this to stay in operation. We may have to shut this down. I'm going to consult with Biffa when I talk with him and see what his thoughts on that are, but I don't know if we can let that arena stay. Um, just for server preservation. I mean, we can't, we can't start Season 6. We just started Season 5. There are so many unfinished projects. Uh, I'm, that concerns me. That's like a weapon of mass destruction. I I did not know that the NHO had such dangerous weapons at their disposal. That's a server killer right there. We mm, we, we may need to like sign a treaty or something regulating the building of arenas. I don't know. Either way, I want to Oh, it's a tree. No, I don't think it is. I think it's broccoli. It kind of looks like broccoli. Okay, that's a little bit of a joke. But I think this is B-Dub's giant tree. And it is coming along quite nicely, I must say. Ooh, I hope I'm not spoiling anything. B-Dub's, if I'm spoiling things, I apologize. I don't think I am, though. But we're going to peek around a little bit in here. And just see... Anything good? So many doors. Is that a, a shulker head? That is totally a shulker head. I did not know that was a thing. That's kind of amazing. I want one. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna leave my mark. 
he'll never suspect anything. He'll never know I was here. He'll just see that and go crazy. Anything else good around here? This looks like a little meeting room of some sort. Little nook. You know what? I think maybe, maybe we should leave a little bit of a, uh, of a, a, a message. A little bit of a warning. Just to let him know that I, I don't... Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll fix that in a minute after I go into this shulker box. That was totally unintentional. I did not mean to break that sign. It, it, I'm sure if, you, if, if it's that big of a deal, he'll be able to repair it. Um, here? Make me some signs. Okay. And I think it was like right here? That doesn't look right. Did he have a big sign there? Maybe he did. Oh, I wish I'd, I wish I'd known. Um, I don't think a big sign there looks very good. I have a feeling it was one of the, uh, one of the two wides like that, maybe? That looks a little bit better. Maybe it was a big one. I don't know. We're going to leave it for now. But I'm going to leave him a little bit of a sign and just say the OHO is watching you. And we'll just leave that there for him to find when he suspects nothing. Eventually, he'll come across it and he'll have no idea when I was here or who was here, other, other than the fact that we left a name tag. Um, but he won't know if it was me or Biffa. It'll drive him insane. I, my, I have, I have, um, I have, I have vandalized his broccoli. Yep, that's what I've done. But anyway, guys, I think I am out of time. Oh, can I please just fly? Is it so difficult? It, is it so hard? That server lag, it's so difficult to fly sometimes. Oh man, I can't believe just how hard it is. It, like, did you see that lag? I couldn't take off at all. Unfortunately though, guys, I am out of time for this episode. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.